Well, good morning and welcome back to another cartoon workshop. It's been quite a while since I did one of these. Uh, it's a bit different nowadays. I'm not knocking out political cartoons for an outlet like a website. Uh, I'm just doing it when I feel like it for social media. So every now and then I come up with another idea uh, and I'd like to take you through how I uh, put this one together. Um, it's it's mid-October now in Bristol. We've had a lovely couple of weeks of late summer. Sorry for all those in other parts of the country that haven't had that. It's been absolutely glorious here. And I woke up this morning to the first fog of the late autumn, or the early autumn even. The seasons are all out of whack, aren't they? So it's hard to know. I mean, our blackberry season was over here in Bristol, sort of mid-August, you know. Anyway... I'll get started on showing you how I put this uh, cartoon together and I hope you find this interesting. So here's the upper section of the drawing showing the fear, the things that we're being trained to be terrified of all the time. I'm sure you'll recognise these images, they're just clippings I've found, uh, news, news images which I've spliced together, literally uh, cut and paste the old fashioned way, photocopied together and then uh, uh, scanned, uh, then merged on using computer paint.net. Um, I've added a bit of colour, I've added a bit of blurring and this represents the fear that we're all living with at the moment. Uh, so this is the final drawing of the addicts here um, before I put some shading on and I'm going to do a small amount of shading in pen and I'm going to try shading in pencil and see how it scans uh, for the simple reason that it's easy to rub off if it doesn't work very well and then I might even think about scanning it in grayscale so uh, you know I'll be able to show you uh, the two different ways of scanning it Let's see what happens with that. This is the mock-up. I must say I'm very pleased with how this is coming along. And it's just to show you the uh, lines of sight I was talking about earlier on. Uh, as you can now see, they're pointing to the middle of the picture, which is where uh, there are going to be people queuing up to be jabbed. I'm still not sure how... I'm going to draw them. Uh, it's it's very strange. I'm sure those artists of you out there watching this, how how weird it is to stop and start like this with a drawing, um, just so that I can show you the stages. Uh, if I was doing this normally, I'd just be tearing on with it and not doing all this stopping and starting. Uh, so it's making me think about it a lot more about how I compile this picture. But I'm very pleased with how it's coming on and. I'm sure you can see where is where this is heading. So there we are. I think I've managed to squeeze in all the all the things, all the elements that I wanted to. Uh, I don't know how successful you think this has been. Um, all the things that they're trying to make us afraid of. I think what I'm trying to get at the most with this picture is that it's fear itself which is the addiction if you see what I mean you know the minute uh, we think we've got over one uh, emergency one assault on our senses one uh, 
when I saw on our uh, intelligence, uh, you know, there's another thing looming over the horizon. It's as if we are addicted to fear. Um, so that's why I've called it the addiction years. Well, I hope you've enjoyed seeing the process of creating this uh, picture and uh, see you in the next video.